Uh, hello all, good afternoon. This simple tutorial is supposed to help you understand the e-learning system, especially how to log on to the e-learning system and also how you can access your notes and how you can uh, forward your assignments using the e-learning system. All of you have received such templates. I've shared these Excel documents to all your groups. This is supposed to help you know your usernames. Since some of you have ever used the system before, but you used it some time back, so I'm sure you don't remember your usernames and the passwords. So I've recreated your usernames and I've also created new passwords for you. And we are using one generic password like uh, this. So basically, you will... Uh, when you scroll through this document, some of you have been seeing only these three columns. You're seeing the one which has name and then username and password. Others have only see username and password. However, I want you to scroll, to try and scroll towards the left. You are going to see other columns that have such. You see here, I'm trying to explain to you how we can access the system. When the, uh, I've created I've first of all created a link within the system. This is the link, what you see down here. So this, the moment you double click on it, it will load directly in any browser of your choice. We have different browsers. We have uh, Mozilla. We have uh, Microsoft Edge. We have Opera Mini on your phones. Opera Mini. We have Phoenix, ETC, Google Chrome. Uh, all those ones can help you to access this system. So all you have to do is um, either just copy it the way it is. You can just have to copy it. And after copying it, you go and paste it. Or you can just double click on it. The moment you double click on it, it will open in the browser like what you're seeing here. So those are all ways. However, you can also choose to type it directly. For example, uh, the link can be uh, typed. For those who want to type it, it is HTTP. Uh, double uh, full colon double forward slash then 216 dot 104 dot 201 dot 106 then full colon and uh, then 8082 then forward slash mihs e learning system so that is the link we use to access the e-learning platform for Maldeme Institute of Health Sciences. So just type it the way it is. So here I can copy it and then take it directly to the browser. So when you go to the browser, any browser you've opened, do not paste it here in Google. No, this is wrong. Don't type it here. This is not where we type it. No, don't do that. Because that is now you are searching. That's a search engine. However, come up here where you see this link. Any browser has what you call the URL bar. So up here where you see www.google.com, remove that and paste our link. And then afterwards, enter. It will load and you'll be able to see this page. So welcome to our e-learning platform. This is where we're going to be getting notes, uh, forwarding the assignments, participating in chats, forums, etc. You'll be getting videos, tutorials, it is all of those things shall be uploading them here. All your tutors know what to do when it comes to uploading the notes. So uh, when you come to this page, you click on login. I hope all of you can see the login in the upper right corner. So when I click on it, there you go. So let's just pick a, a single person to try as an example. Maybe I can try... Uh, whom can oh there's Alan, my friend here. So let me just copy Alan's username the way it is Alan.chitonsa. Control C, go to the browser, paste it there. Alan.chitonsa. Come back to the Excel document. The we have one generic password, a Duke Star 2020. All of you are using that one. Then those who want to change can later go ahead and change. So uh, we copy that and we take it back to our browser. And we paste it under password, control V, and then log in. The moment you do that, ah, uh, well, welcome. So this is what exactly uh, we shall see when we try to log in with Alan. 
So you'll be able to see, of course, Alan does not have a picture. That's why this is empty. Uh, you will see the timeline in case there is any information. Here we have a timeline uh, where you can see all those uh, templates. Then there are courses. Here you can see that Alan has only one course attached, course unit, I mean, and that is uh, computer applications, which he started some two years ago. Uh, so here on, uh, on the left side of the screen, under dashboard, you will be able to see where there is my courses. Under my courses, all the course units which are under your name will be showing up here. I know that at this moment, most of your tutors are now trying to upload. But I know that before the end of tomorrow, most of them have will have uploaded the notes and now you'll be able to access them from wherever you are. So here he has only one because it's the one which has been now uploaded yet. But by the end of tomorrow, you'll see all the courses there. So you are going to continue checking and I'll be letting you know in case any notes has been added or if at all any tutors have added notes, they'll be notifying you. So that's where they put that. Um, you can add private files in case you want to uh, uh, to keep your files for example you're working on your final report or whatever you can here you have a folder where you can put your private files as you so that they are online in case anything happens on your phone you have a place where you can dump your private files you have a calendar etc so let's try to see what happens inside uh, that particular what happens inside that particular course unit for example this computer applications when i click on it Definitely, it is going to load. It will show you all the lectures that are there on the left. But here, you'll have uh, a brief um, out view of whatever happens. For example, under announcements, I, uh, I have a course outline here, which is a wordy document. I have uh, here, this was a communication to students who did not have my coursework. So all the names are here in this document, all the names of those who did not uh, forward or submit their courseworks for impacts of ICT on society. So lecture one, you can see the notes are there and lecture two. And then this is an assignment. When you see this hand with uh, this file, it means this is an assignment. So when you click on it, you will be able to view uh, the assignment uh, to the assignment which was given and you do it so whenever you see that means that's an assignment it also tells you when it's supposed to be handed in uh we also have charts apart from the courses like this one which are just a powerpoint lecture notes we also have forums like this one this is a forum where students can discuss again a student clicks on it and you'll be able to to view the different um uh, the different submissions from different students. You can see Lillian uh, answered, Reste answered, Patricia also participated. So that's what we call a forum. However, we also have what we call chats. For example, this is a chat access to internet. And when you click on it, for example, a lecturer can start up a chat and all those that are online at that time must participate in it. For example, at this moment, when I click on chat, they will tell you, click here to enter the chat room. So when you click there, a chat will load. So at this moment, uh, Alan's chat only has Alan alone because he's the only one who, is, uh, uh, who has joined the chat. But if at all the chat was for the entire class, for example, the tutor tells you that at 9 a.m. you must be able to log, uh, to be online so that you discuss something online. So all of them will be, you just will like where you see Alan's name, all the students that are online will be showing up here. So you can be able to say anything in the chat, hello, and it will uh, come and other people will be able to see what you're trying to comment. You see Alan is saying hello, so it's like a live chat for all those who would like to participate on any chat. So the tutor can create a chat and then you participate in it. That's a chat. And so many other things. I will send another tutorial which is about uh, tests. How can you do an online test? How can you do an online exam? But for now, I want all of you to be able to log in and also be able to, uh, to get the notes. Don't forget that you go to this uh, document. Um, for example, let me also pick one for another class, maybe uh, year one, uh, year one, semester one. Let me also pick another student from there. As the document is still loading, don't forget that here, all we need from this document is our username. You pick your username, for example, okay, now uh, here are some of these documents, all you have to do is come, for example, Mukungu, uh, Enoch, you come and 
pick your username you go and log in with it you also pick your password this is the link here up here so those who are only seeing these two columns in your document kindly try to scroll to the left try to scroll to the left you'll be able to see all these other things where there are, there's a link to follow and there is also a password so when you get that uh, uh, username don't forget you are coming to click on login after clicking on login then uh, we shall require you to sign in and by signing in be sure that this link is the right link follow every step let me also highlight it again this is the link take your time to type everything the way it is if i thought it's a full colon put a full colon if it's a semicolon you put it but do not write a semicolon where there is a full colon or do not put a, a dot where there is a full colon be sure of when you're typing these numbers that every number goes where it is and you'll be able to access our system uh, i will send you more tutorials about this depending on your need but for now be able to log in be able to access notes whenever you refresh the page you'll see the new things that we have added um, at this moment, I think, uh, thank you for listening. It was nice having this chat with you.